Only, only an hour. Good morning. As you all know, the United Nations Supervision Mission in Syria suspended our operations due to the unacceptable level of violence on the ground. The mission's mandate is to monitor a cessation of violence and the escalation of violence has obstructed our ability to implement our mandated tasks. However, the observers still based in the different provinces have the view of surrounding areas and are engaging with the parties on the ground. From our presence in the Hama province, we can verify continuous fighting yesterday in the area of Tremsche. This involved mechanized units, indirect fire, as well as helicopters. Unsmith stands ready to go in and seek verification of facts if and when there is a credible ceasefire. I would also like to share with you that in the aftermath of Kofi Annan's visit, Unsmith has been engaging in some localities to facilitate local dialogue between the parties as they seek to find a step-by-step -step way to build confidence and stop the negative spiral of violence. In this context, encouraging progress is made by the parties in Deresor. We observe a significant reduction of violence and growing confidence in a possible step-by-step -step approach to stop the violence. As you know, the international community is now looking closely at the situation in Syria. Discussions are ongoing in the Security Council, and in a few days we will see voting on the mandate itself. For the sake of the Syrian people, we now need genuine and effective leadership from the Security Council. The Security Council should unite on a plan that meets the aspirations of the Syrian people and is accepted by the parties. Government and opposition must be willing to make concessions and sit down at the negotiations table. If this happens, the presence of the mission is credible and the mission can contribute to improve the situation on the ground and facilitate further dialogue. Thank you. We're going to take three questions. Uh, Kinder. Uh, Mr. Mayor, are you going to recommend an extension of the mission to the security consensus in the discussions regarding the future of the mission is entirely in the hands of the Security Council. The report of the Secretary General recommended an approach to the future in which the emphasis is put on local dialogues bottom-up dialogue, if you want, with a more political orientation of the mission. 
We have given our input to that report and are behind the recommendations in that report, which means a continuation of UNSMIS, but with a different orientation to make sure that we continue to be on the ground for the Syrian people and with the Syrian people. Lina. When we arrived on the 29th of uh, April, the situation was that we came to assist the parties in monitoring a cessation of violence that they agreed to and that they were committed to implement. The violence have escalated. Hence, the tool that was deployed towards the end of April is not the most relevant tool for the future. So what we are looking at now is a situation in which the political dialogue has to be brought inside Syria, and we have to build on the progress that we're seeing on the ground noting in particularly the encouraging process as we speak in Deir Ezzor. Through that dialogue and lifting it to the national level, we will then achieve a cessation of violence. That is the approach and for that you need a tool on the ground that is more politically oriented, more flexible in use and able to build on local initiatives and local engagement facilitate the party's will to go step by step in the right direction as we're doing in the resort and from that big a better picture on the national scale. Tiefa. On the issue on Trump said, I don't know if I pronounce it properly, uh, what do you need exactly to go there? And will you, will you, be, uh, will you have enough information or detail we are going to report on uh, the situation in the Homa province as well as the situation in the other provinces and we do it on a daily basis. So the facts that we already have related to the situation in uh, the area of the Homa province and the village of Tremsha is already reported uh, to New York. If we have a credible cessation of violence and a local ceasefire, we stand ready to go in with a larger team to verify the facts on the ground. What we have verified today is that there was ongoing fighting yesterday involving mechanized unit, involving indirect fire impacts and involving helicopters. This is what we have seen from a distance of five to six kilometers. Will it be possible to verify more facts in the coming hours and days? I do not know. I sincerely hope so, because everyone, not least the Syrian people, is really served better by having these facts established. Thank you.